Ahoy there, friends. Ciao. Coming up in this episode of Sailing Brittany, we continue our sail along the breathtakingly beautiful Italian Riviera. And I learn to cope with living on board while seven months pregnant. You'll also see the technique that we use to make sure that we're anchored securely. And you'll see one example of how little water we use when we're living at anchor for long periods. We pick up where we left off, sailing past Rio Maggiore. This is the first of the five lands, or Cinque Terre, a national park where no cars are allowed and the only way into these villages is via the train or via boat. It's a beautiful place to visit and two and a half million tourists come here every year. <laughs> the wind was coming from the exact direction in which we wanted to go, but rather than turn on the engine, we just stuck with it and sailed with lots of tacks involved. Relaxing now? Yes. Good. When you're heavily pregnant, you get hot and tired more easily. So when it was very hot, I went down below and rested. Priscilla has found a way to ease her achy ankles. <laughs> and look how blue the water is, gorgeous. 40 metres depth here. It's really pretty. As the wind picked up, our speed increased and we were able to listen to the satisfying sound of the water rushing past our boat.
As we sailed out of the national park, the wind gradually died down as the sun drew lower in the sky. Whenever we anchor somewhere new for the first time, we always try and do this during daylight hours. So we gave up on the sailing and used the engine for the last mile or so into the anchorage. The Bay of Levanto is really picturesque, but it's also extremely exposed to the open sea. So much so that they have surfing competitions here and there are huge barrel waves when the wind blows hard. The advantage of an anchorage like this is that many people would never dream of anchoring there and despite it being peak holiday season we were the only sailing boat to be anchored in the area. Well, for the eagle-eyed amongst you, you may have noticed that the anchor was dragging there and we always do that, we always pull really hard when we arrive and anchor somewhere and uh, check that the anchor is dug in well. On that occasion it wasn't, so we're going to have to re-anchor, but it's better to do that than wake up in the night and find your boat has moved somewhere, so we always do this. Here we are in the cockpit, safely anchored now, and we're just about to watch the sunset before getting some food. Just eating our dinner in the cockpit, and usually I set a second anchor in an anchorage like this so that we face into the oncoming waves. We're leaving first thing in the morning, and if I'm being completely honest, I couldn't be bothered. So. We're going to have a bit of a rolly night, probably tonight. If the wind takes us perpendicular to the incoming waves, then we'll, uh, we, we might be a little bit uncomfortable. But anyway, we'll survive, and tomorrow we're off ski. Good morning. Well, it's been quite a, a rocky night uh, at anchor here, but that's what we expected. Um, and again, it was my own fault for being lazy and not setting a second anchor. So the swell is coming in generally from this direction. And uh, the wind, there's a land breeze coming from that direction. Uh, so we're not quite beam onto the waves, but um, yeah, we have had a bit of rolling going on. 
so it's not been really, really comfortable, but that's fine. And it's now 20 past six in the morning and um, we're about to set off. We're gonna be doing everything on the move today. We don't have, we want to make as much progress as possible before this bad weather comes. So we're about to uh, weigh anchor now and then we will head down the coast and as we're moving along, we'll make breakfast and you know brush our teeth have a wash all that kind of things we'll, we'll do all these things on the move save a bit of time so we shall see you shortly One thing I love about this boat is the view that you get from the companionway hatch. I'm just inside about to brush my teeth. Now look at that for a view. Speaking about brushing teeth, I might as well talk about water conversation now. Uh, I've just put the toothpaste on my toothbrush. Here we are. And I'll show you exactly how much water I use to brush my teeth. Ready? Mm -hmm. There we go, that's it. Not much. We've gone to employ our little tiller pilot here. What did we call him last time, Rob? I don't remember. We gave him a name, but I don't remember what it was. John? No? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, whatever his name is, we'll come up with another one. Basically, you plug him in, and what should happen is it should beep and come on. Now, there was a tiny, tiny little beep there, but nothing's, nothing's happening, it's not working, so... Evidently it's got a bad contact between the pins there and the plug. So we're just going to clean them off with a screwdriver, this end and that end, and then we'll see if that improves it. We've just seen a dolphin. Well, Rosella saw a dolphin, and then I saw a dolphin. We had a little chat, we, uh, yeah, we remember his name, he was with John and his friend. So uh, yeah, that's all it was, just a little clean of the contacts. And now we have our third crew member. Unfortunately the dolphin didn't want to come and play in the video. Oh well, next time. I'm gonna try and do a bit of fishing. And the reason that I'm kind of whispering is <laughs> Rosella has a phobia of fish. So if I catch something, it's a really big problem. <laughs> but I'm not a very good fisherman at all. I, in fact, I have no idea what I'm doing here. So the chances of me catching something are very slim, I think. So basically what I've got here is one of these, a lure. I don't even know what you call that, but it's a lure to me, with a couple of huge hooks on it. Uh, I've got a little weight on that. Then I've got a spinner here. And then I've just got a reel of uh, a fishing line, like that. So I'm just gonna chuck it in and 99.99% chance nothing will happen. If something does happen, I'll have to work out what to do with this.
quick update, all is well in the world. Uh, Fred has been relieved of his duties at the moment for the past 20 minutes or so. Uh, the boat's just nicely balanced, so we don't have the noise of the tiller pilot. We're doing about four and a half knots at the moment. It's a really nice day, fairly calm, good wind, well, gentle wind, so the boat isn't inclined, which is always the preferred state of affairs for the cellar. And we're just heading over in the direction of the Palo. And there's lots to explore around there, there's Portofino, lots of other little places that are, are going to be really beautiful. So we're, we're very much looking forward to it. But to be honest, I'm just enjoying the sail at the moment. Really relaxing and yeah, fabulous.